Do you like to wrestle, Mr. Hiram? Say, Booby, you're wrinkling the vertebrae. Now, now, folks, settle down, do you hear me? Cut out this ruckus now. Luke, Floyd, Jethro, you two behave yourself. Well, Benny, don't just stand there. Huh? Oh, oh, yeah. Well, I think we should have a parade and a marching band and... Now then that you're all tuckered, maybe we can continue with the meeting. Uh, Your Honor? Hmm? Well, uh, yes, I think I have the solution to this little uh, uh, disagreement. We'll take everybody's suggestion. We'll do it all. Well, yeah. And I have a little suggestion of my own. We're going to have a gigantic fireworks display. And I will take personal charge. Uh, uh, your, your Honor, I, I don't think that's such a good idea. Fireworks can be dangerous unless they're handled by experts. Experts? Are you saying I'm incompetent? Well, uh, not exactly that, Your Honor, but... Uh, uh, then fireworks it is! Oh! All right now, everybody, shape up, forward, march! To the right, march! Hey, what are you guys doing down there? How's your rehearsing coming along, Benny? Huh? Oh, <laughs> first rate, ship shape. Hey, Daddy, lay off them cornball sounds. Phew, makes your eyes water. And then, Freddy, when the last rocket goes off, you shoot off the cannon as a grand finale. Oh, come on, Your Honor. You know I can't stand loud noises. No, no, none of that. No shirking. Everyone must do his part. Now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of his uh, something or other and all that. Say there, Mr. Gabby, you got a good tight hold of that brush? Sure do. Why you ask? Because I got to bore the loan of your stepping ladder. No! <laughs> Your Honor, please be careful. 
careful. Smokey, for the last time, don't be such a fuss budget. I know what I'm doing. Ah, oh, a beautiful sight indeed. Nothing like the stirring boom of a... Uh-oh. Something to say. No, no, Smokey, I realize one or two little things went wrong, but we can't let the business at hand go unfinished. We've still got Founders Day to celebrate. <laughs> this is where I came in. Let's go fishing. Junior Rangers of Piney Woods, attention! Now, before we start out on the annual Junior Ranger hike-in, remember these few simple rules. Stick to the trail, and no straggling. Knapsacks in place. Forward march! Junior Ranger, shish. Sissy kid stuff. Yeah, sissy kid stuff. Let's take a shortcut and have some fun with them. Yeah. <laughs> Here we are at Creepy Caverns, gang. Now remember, when we get inside, stick close together. <laughs> we'll have them walking around in circles. Yeah, then we'll spook them real good. <laughs> Just stay close to me, Bessie. Now, this looks mighty familiar. You know what I think? I think we've been walking around in a circle. Oh, I knew it. We're lost. Now, Bessie, don't you fret none. A couple of the trail markers must have got turned the wrong way. That's all. We'll find our way all right. Sure, Bessie. Just remember that Benny's right beside you. You got nothing to fear. Oh. Yikes! <laughs> Do it again. Do it again. Oh. Let's get oh, out of here. I'm so scared. Oh, Come on, everybody. It's probably just the wind. Let's move along. Yeah, that's right. This time we'll really get him. <laughs> Give me the flashlight. <laughs> Stick close together. <laughs> Yipe again. An underground monster. <laughs> now, hold on, gang. Wait a minute. Now, that's puzzling. I never knew underground monsters carried flashlights. Now, look here, fellas. I'm going to do a little investigating. You all wait right here. And as soon as I find the trail, I'll come back for you. All right? Just don't move from this spot. Who can move? We put these sheets over our head and spook them good. <laughs> I 
you should stop doing that, Bessie. I... We'll just have to find him. How are we going to do that, Benny? Huh? Hmm. Let's see. I know. I'll climb up there and take a look around. Can I go with you, Benny? Uh, can I? Okay. We'll both go. The rest of you rangers stay put. That's an order. Keep on coming, Benny. You can make it. If I could only find a, a rock to get a grip on. Is that all you need? Here's a beauty for you. Thanks. <laughs> Did you see him run? <laughs> Man, boy, they flew out of here like horse flies to a fish fry. <laughs> Boo! What'd you say, Buck? I didn't say nothing. You're funning me. Didn't you say boo? I didn't say boo. Didn't you say boo? Boo! A ghost! A ghost. <laughs> Some folks just got no sense of humor at all. Didn't see no sign of Smokey. Not one single itty bitty sign I didn't. Hello! This way, fellas. Run into a couple of friends of mine, showed me how to fix the trail markers and find the way out of here. Good for sorry! Hop, two. Three, four, hop, two, three, four, hop, two. Man, boy, that Benny sure is a good march caller. I just loves marching. Don't you all, Beaky and Buck? Sure I do. Ow, my back. And just think, we got us a whole 12 miles more marching to do. 12, 12 miles? What's the matter, fellas? Was it something I said? They're just resting, Grizzly. Those boys had them a real busy day. Beautiful. I should make a fortune here. My gold rush routine will go over great. Sai Slicker's the name, and I'm here to transact some business of the greatest import. Now I'll need every shovel, pickaxe, pitchfork, bucket, and work shoe you have in stock. Every shovel, uh, pick, uh, buck, why that? Come, uh... come, man, move. Industry waits for no man. We must look alive. Well, Mr. Slicker, that's the lot. That comes to... Oh, how I enjoy dealing with a man who gets right to business. No dilly-dally, no dawdling. Uh, right down to... Perhaps you were wondering what I intend to do with all of this equipment. Well, I was wondering And what... since we do business together, I'm going to let you in on a good thing. See this gold nugget? Gold, you see? Well, I'll be darned if that isn't a fact. Yes, sir. Found it right outside of town, up on Sutter's Hill. So naturally, I filed a claim for the whole hill. Cost me a pretty penny, too. Now, I just might let you buy a small piece of my claim. <laughs> you would? You do that? Imagine me with a gold mine. Shh! You want to start a gold rush? Oh, no. I wouldn't want to do a thing like that. Now then, what did you say my bill was? Oh, uh, uh, let's see now. Uh, there's what the, uh... a coincidence. That's just the cost of four square yards of Sutter's Hill real estate. That makes us even. Shake, partner. Now remember, mum's the word. Oh, yes, uh, mum indeed. Morning, Floyd. Uh, morning, Bessie. Heard the news? We discovered gold up on Sutter's Hill. Gold? Did you say gold? <gasps> gold! Gold! Gold on Sutter's Hill! Oops, I forgot to tell her that Mum is supposed to be the word. I'll just bet she lets it out of the bag. Gold! Gold! Gold on Sutter's Hill! Groovy man, I got 
gotta get me some of that bread. Now, now, everybody, if you'll just quiet down. <laughs> Far be it from Cy Slicker to turn his back on the voice of the people. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to let every one of you buy his own gold mine at cost. <laughs> Gabby, grab your wallet and come on. We're going to buy us a gold mine. Gold mine? And that's it, folks. A step lively now. No pushing. There's enough for everybody. Beautiful. Just enough for a two-yard lot on the South 40. Next. Well, well, Rangers. Sign us up for a couple of gold mines. Of course. Just the right amount for the best two claims of the lot. This town is beautiful. Madam, that hat is you. Oh, how you do go on. And you can't beat the price. Benny, I've been digging for hours, and I can't get nowhere. Nobody said gold mining was easy, Gabby. Stick with it, shoulder to the wheel, nose to the grindstone, and all that. Phew, man, like I don't dig this digging scene. This sure is my gold mine. That feller sold me. couple of deputies you are. Hey, Smokey, you're back just in time to get in on the gold strike. Gold strike? Come on up out of there, everybody. Hey, everybody, would you stop digging and come on over here for a minute? Come on up. Now, first of all, there's no gold in these parts. Oh, I beg to differ, Smokey. Mr. Slicker found gold right here. He showed me a nugget the size of a golf ball. And where is this Mr. Slicker? Don't rush off, Mr. Slicker. I'd like to chat with you. Well, hello there, Ranger. Could you make it fast? I got some urgent business. Uh... Oh, I'll make it fast, all right. Mind if I take a look at that nugget of yours? My, that's a beauty. Souvenir of San Francisco. I wonder how that got there. Now, Mr. Slicker, you know this is a federal preserve. You had no right to sell it off to these folks. It must be some mistake. I'll put the whole thing in the hands of my lawyer to get it straight. first, signed. first, I think you should give the folks back their money. I was afraid you'd say that. And there's the other thing. Somebody's got to put Sutter's Hill back the way it was before the gold rush. And since you're responsible... Get a move on there, Slicker. We'll teach you to try and pull your bunco games around Piney Woods, won't we, Smokey? You know, Benny, as long as there's a law man like you around, the town's in real safe hands. Well, you're known far and wide as the fastest shovel in the West. <laughs> Can't you move them two left feet of yours any faster? Me? I'm dragging you along as it is. Look out where you're walking. Ooh. Whoa, I Whoa. told oh, you look out. out. Now, will you oh. come get up? You ever see anything as beautiful in your life? Reminds me of the time I won the double at Hialeah. Wished I had a couple of bucks down on that fat lady and the little guy. Up the race, stupid. The food over there. Hey, picnic baskets, and loaded with goodies. Look, we ain't it since we took it on the lamb. And with every lawman in the country on the lookout for us, we ain't about to go shopping in no supermarket, so... So we put the snatch on that chow, right? Your game, Bernie? I'm with you, Clyde. And a 
doing out there, see? We're doing fine. What do you mean? We? My, all this excitement made me hungry in the polecat in the hen house. How about it, Bessie? Okay, I'll have lunch laid out in a shake and a half. All right, you sure done some fancy three-legging out there today, Freddy. <laughs> I own all to clean living, and... Uh... Why, that's Bessie. <laughs> Be Bessie, Bessie, what's the matter? <laughs> now, 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 Bessie, calm down. And tell me, what's, what's wrong? The lunch! I put both picnic baskets under that tree, and now they're gold! Oh, my oh. God! My jingle, uh, this is serious. All right, Bessie, now you just relax yourself, and I'll find the lunch. Are you sure this is the right tree? I'm positive! Hmm. What's up, Smokey? Looks like somebody stole the lunch, Benny. All right, don't anybody leave the scene of the crime. Line up for questioning. Looks like there was more than one. There's plenty of tracks around here. Why don't the rest of you folks busy yourself with another race or something? Me and my deputies will track down the thieves and bring back the lunch. Let's go, fellas. Right behind you, Ranger. Uh, fellas. <laughs> I, I think maybe we ought to move along a mite faster. Those fellas will eat all the lunch before we run them down. Huh? Oh, sure, Ranger. Scaring a buddy half to death. We must be getting close. Whoever it is, they ain't from around these parts. How do you know that? Folks that live in the forest know better than to garbage it up like this. They left such a mess, they covered up their trail. We better split up. Check. Okay. Gabby! You, you bubble brain! Get them handcuffs off of me before I park your head with my club! How'd I know it was you? You're supposed to be way over... Oh, my gosh! What's wrong now? The, the key to the handcuffs. I lost it about a week ago. You lost it? Why, you dim-witted weasel? I oughta... Now, don't get excited. I'll think of something. If I ever get myself unhooked from you, I hope it's the last time I ever see you. Shh, shh, shh. I think I hear something. I tell you, Clyde, I ain't up so good since we broke out of stir. I figure them squares at the picnic is still looking for the chow. <laughs> <laughs> It's them. It's the culprits. And now that you got us hooked together like Siamese twins, what are we gonna do about it? We'll take them by surprise. I ain't gonna like this. Ready, set. Don't make a move, you, uh, you, uh... uh Varmints? Yeah, varmints. You're under arrest. What do you think, Bernie? I think it's the law. Me too. We better blown this joint. And it's my sworn duty to warn you that anything you say may be used against you. And I... Now's a good time to move. Right with you. Where's Bessie get off serving up rotten tomatoes for a picnic? Never mind that. They're getting away after them. You know, these guys break me up. Here they come again. There they are. Come on. You paddle-footed, lame brain. Now, gotcha. So much for laughs. We got to get out of here. Hold on there, fellas. Uh-oh, we had it. Look, pal, we'll pay you for the lunch and forget the whole thing, OK? Now, it ain't quite that simple. I seem to recall seeing your pictures on the post office wall. And a right fine likeness they was, too. I expect we'll have to talk this over with the U.S. Marshal. Right. right. Bernie and Clyde, eh? The most wanted criminals in the country, you say? That is something. There'll be newspaper men and photographers. I'll present you with a medal. Well, no, Your Honor. That wouldn't be right. 
Because it was actually my deputies that caught them. Gabby and Benny? Well, then, I'll need two medals. Well, no, I think maybe one medal for the two of them. You see, they sort of work together. Not so fast, you meathead. Listen, Boy, do you, you think it's fun me for me? Do you think I enjoy soon? dragging you around with me? You and your crabbing and grouching? Do you think I'm having such a good time? Well, let me tell you. Did you ever see a forest after fire had turned it black? It's not only you can prevent forest fires. The fire fighting bear, everybody knows his ranger, Smokey Bear. When you see smoke, there's sure to be fire, and our pal Smokey Bear. Join the firefight with Ranger Smokey Bear.